Hey guys, so why are properties a higher percentage management outside major cities than inside man major cities? And look, it comes down realistically to three things the way I look at it. And, and actually there's a whole heap of offshoots from that. But basically we're talking about quantum. Obviously the higher the rent, yeah, the higher potential management fee that you'll be receiving, okay? So therefore, the lower the percentage can be, okay? That's, that's one of the first things. The second thing is resource commitment. Generally, you find in major cities, rentals are very easy. They happen very quickly. And so the resource commitment that you have for a particular property in, say, London city center, you know, isn't as much as, say, outside in the suburbs where you may have to, you know, you may find it takes a little bit longer. You have multiple viewings. You have people seeing it. You've got the constantly chasing up on the phone and that sort of thing. So you've got different aspects from that perspective in terms of, you know, the, the quantum, the amount you're going to receive, and also the resource commitment in terms of the length that it takes, the amount of resources you're going to provide. Also, resource commitment is another area, which is that if you think about it, if you've got a new build property and you only deal in new build property, well, number one, those new build properties do become old. But also, if you've got older property, they take more time in maintenance. And generally, the maintenance is larger things. You might have to paint the whole place. You might have small little projects to, you know, replace bathroom tiles or re you know, seal baths, things like that. Or you may have leaks, you know, that happen after a period of time. So there's the resource commitment aspect. And the final one is your internal costs. I mean, we run a business and we have about 40 staff, you know, and I mean, I just looked last night, I was looking just at our software costs each month are come to about 4,500 pounds. So that's a lot of property that we have to manage in order to do that. Now we have 1,250 plus properties. So in that case, you know, your normal high street business probably wouldn't have that much um, in software. But you know, that's just software. Let alone, let alone staff costs, you know, you'll find in your major cities the staff costs are higher, you know, maybe not so much outside. But you know, there's all these aspects that you need to consider. You know, so the quantum, obviously, look, if we take an average rent, let's say in London, 1500 bucks, yeah, or 1500 pounds, and then 10% management fee, that's 150 per month that the, the agent would receive, okay? So 150 a month. That's for a London property. If we go outside into some of the suburbs, we say average rent is 500, and it's um, let's say 15 15 percent management fee. That's only uh, 75 uh, 75 pounds per month that you're receiving. So it's half as much. So you got to factor in: is it half as cheap? You know, or are your London stuff? Um, you know, compensating or, or if you're like subsidizing your outside London, you know, and do you put it up to 20%? So you get 20% would be 100 um, per month, you know, so you've got to look at all these things. And, and obviously, when I calculate for our own business, the different tiers, I mean, it would be great to have personalized tiers and say, right, we're going to charge you this month per month. And, and you know, that is an option. But then you end up having staff that have to do lots of work, and they're going to add that work in, or you just do what we do, which we have a number of tiers, we have three different tiers. Okay, and we have a couple of add-ons to those tiers and things like that. But bottom line is, you know, we've done that to make it simple for us to make it the most effective and efficient for us. You know, and, and so those three reasons, quantum that you've got to consider, the resource commitment, and then the internal costs, all those go into and what generally the outcome that an entrepreneur, a business owner comes back with is that yes, your percentage is lower outside, sorry, lower your percentage is lower, higher in London, no, wait there, your percentage is lower outside of the major cities than inside, okay, because of quantum, because of the resource commitment, because of the internal costs, you know, so all those tend to factor in. So I know a lot of people will say, well, hold on a sec, why am I, char why am I being charged more outside London or outside the major city than inside? Surely that's not fair. Surely my rent's less, I should be a lower percentage. But no, if you do the maths, you know, if we, if we only charge 10%, on that um, that 500, that's 50 bucks a month. Now, if you think about it, insurances, staff costs, software. You know, you've got you know sick leaves, you've got you know desks, rents, you've got council tax, you've got you know all these things, phones. You know, by the time you add all that up, you need a lot of property at 50 bucks a month or 50 pounds a month to actually make any money and even cover your costs. And even now, with the additional weight load of all of these regulations and this continuous regulation, regulation, regulation. And then not only that, I mean, we pay for the training of all our staff to get to level three level. So that's not only training, but it's the exam, you know, it's not only training materials, it's exams, it's, you know, if somebody fails, not that our staff fail, but you know, if, you know, they reset the exams. 
all of these costs go in and you know when you start adding that up you know you need to be making money on your property and right now you know whereas before you know you could kind of get away with it now unfortunately if it drops below a certain figure um, I'm I'm more likely to say no unfortunately they need to go somewhere else because I know if a landlord leaves because of our pricing and they try and get a cheaper price somewhere else I can pretty much guarantee in every respect when they go to somebody else they will not be providing the level of service that we do and I, and I make no apologies for this my model my business model my framework though that I work from is I want to add massive value and I want to make sure that our landlords are set and forget and are covered for everything but I also want to be making enough money that when we stuff up yeah which occasionally happens you know hands up absolutely that we make sure that you're covered and we look after you guys. So it's not just handballing onto you as a landlord to you know, cover all the stuff ups. And you know, especially now with you know, the ombudsmans and things like this and the, you know, those schemes, you know, we're, we're getting a lot more of that where the minutest detail, if we, don't, you know, if we miss something out, if we spell up someone's name wrong and it goes to court and all this sort of stuff, you know, I mean, it almost comes to the point where the staff have to be so qualified and so careful. It's almost like we do something and we have to have someone check it, you know, audit it, um, in order to make sure that we are CYA or covering our ass, yeah? Um, you know, we call it. But look, you know, I mean, that's that's the, the negative side. The positive side is actually the team are bloody awesome. You know, they are fantastic and they really know what they're doing. The systems are really good. You know, we got a really good management structure in there now with really qualified people. We, you know, we've gotten rid of the people who, you know, weren't a match for that and weren't willing to actually go the extra mile and, you know, and actually perform, you know. Um, and now actually, you know, it's a well-oiled machine, you know, that we've got. So you will benefit from that being a landlord, yeah. So guys, you know, hopefully that gives you an insight into why the percentages are higher outside of major cities than inside. Um, and yeah, have a great day. Live with passion. And uh, yeah, stay safe, stay healthy. See you later. Bye.